My four-year-old twin identical daughters, Sophia and Vivian, were born in 2012. They are completely my pride and joy. After I had the twins, I joined a Facebook group for moms of multiples using an alias name, Precious Bundle. I did upload some photos here and there because I mean, I was proud of them. When my girls turned one, I got a private message on Facebook from a lady alerting me that my twin girls' photos had been stolen off of Facebook and were being posted by someone else on a blog site. When I went to this lady's blog, it said that her name was Ashley. She basically took my photos offline and made it a complete life of her as their mom and has a story to go along with every single picture was my girls. She gave the children the names Adea and Camberlin. I started bawling. I realized at that time that my daughters had been digitally kidnapped. I just want to figure out what is going through her head. We found out where she lived, so we called the police. Ashley had been arrested for burglary, assault, and computer fraud. She had actually spent time in jail. Police told us that there's nothing really they can do because they said there's no crime in stealing the photographs. We felt helpless. My husband sent her a message that we know that she has stolen photos of our babies. He's told her that we contacted the police. We never heard a response. We thought that was the end of it. Well, that was far from the end of it. Just a few weeks ago, April discovered that this online stranger, Ashley, has been allegedly stealing photos of her twin daughters, Sophie, and Vivian for years. Not just reposting them, but putting their pictures in frames throughout her home, as if they were her own children. Nine days ago, I got a private message on Facebook from somebody, and that person alerted me to the fact that she believes that Ashley is posting photos of my twin girls on Facebook and claiming them as her own. This is still continuing, and then it had been continuing since my children's birth. I contacted an investigator. She was able to friend Ashley on Facebook. Once Ashley accepted her request, the investigator got in there and sent us hundreds and hundreds of photos. It has gone further than just posting photos on Facebook. My girls are in picture frames all over her house, above her bed, above her nightstand, on her TVs, on her dressers, on the end of couches. Ashley altered a lot of the pictures. The pictures had our girls' names on the outfits they were wearing and she would blur them out. A lot of photographs had my wife in a reflection, and she would blur that out. Ashley, his room with the cribs was painted the exact same color my wife painted ours. I saw one photo of my girls at their four-year-old pediatrician visit. She just made up a story that one of them had seizures. My girls have never had seizures. I learned that Ashley is claiming she lost custody and that her mother-in-law has custody of them. This was a comment off of a photo that Ashley posted of my kids. Ashley comments, I don't get to see them at all. Hopefully that changes and then notice very capitalized soon. This was the comment that I decided, uh -uh, I'm stopping this. I have to get to the bottom of this. My family is in turmoil over it. We are scared for our children. We installed security cameras on our house. I do have a pistol in my house. It's loaded, ready to go. I will do whatever I have to do to protect my family. I am dealing with someone who is completely mentally unstable. Okay, Nathan, April, there is actually a term for this, as you know. It's referred to now as digital kidnapping. And uh, it's where people take these pictures, they rename the children, they post them as their own, they claim them as their own, and you feel strongly that that's what's happened here. 100%. Uh, definitely. Yeah. And this has you concerned why? Uh, just in your own words. My biggest concern is that she's going to fulfill the fantasy that she's been living for four years, and she's going to break into my house and, and steal my children.